Art is a three-letter word that encompasses the unfathomable world of graphic and performing arts. As long as we have gifted individuals who share their sight, sound, and physical performances with us, we will continue to explore with them this vast universe of color on surfaces, in music, in dance. This short film you're about to see will take you into the recording studio of composer, musician, recording artist Roy Swedeen. Have you ever wondered how it's done? Well, here's how in the studio. What inspires you to write a song? Inspiration comes from many places. For me, sometimes it's a sound, it's a drum beat, it's a chord. Um, in this particular case, Dreamy in Color, the inspiration definitely came from a ukulele that was gifted to me from my family. I noticed, instead of playing it traditionally, that if I hit it with a drumstick, it had a really unique sound. So, take it like this. And I thought, wow, that's really a cool sound. And that became the catalyst for the song, the heartbeat, the rhythm. So I took that and I recorded it onto its own track along with a click track 
which keeps perfect time. So if I play to that, later on when I layer other instruments, I have something to play to since I'm the only musician in the room. Once I did that, I put guitar chords down on electric guitar to form the song. I then took another guitar and played the melody. Once that was finished, I'd go in and set up my drums. Now, recording string instruments is one thing because you take one or two mics to record them. Drums take eight microphones. So each individual drum gets its own microphone. And then I have two more microphones over the top of the drums and another one on the bottom of the snare drum plus a room mic. So total of eight drum mics, each going to its own track. As you notice in the video, I have headphones on while I'm playing the drums. This is so I can hear the previous tracks I recorded to play to. Once the drums are done, the bass goes on next. And then I take all these tracks and combine them together. And that's what you hear on your final CD. Here's what the individual tracks sound like, starting with the ukulele. click track then of course the rhythm guitar here's the lead guitar drums here's the bass by itself and now when you start pulling up one at a time this is how it gets mixed together. Well, I hope this gives you a little insight on the recording process, and please support the Redlands Art Association. So, that's that. I hope I explained it to you. No, that's stupid. Well, that's that. I hope I explained... It's too enthusiastic, that part. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you feel stupid saying that? Yeah, I do. I do. It sounds so stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Cool, huh? <laughs> what did you say? Say it to me again. I hope this gives you a little insight. Well, I hope this gives you a little better insight on the... Well, I hope this gives you some... <laughs> Not a little better insight. Well, I hope that gives you some insight on the recording. Well, well, well... <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Click. What, what, I forgot what I'm saying. Well, I hope this gives you a little insight to the recording okay. process. Snappy. <laughs> you keep forgetting. Well, I hope this gives you a better insight. Better. I hope this gives you better insight. Um, I hope this gives you a little insight. Oh. <laughs> I need a, a better insight. No, a that doesn't make any sense. I hope this gives you a little a little Turn insight. Me that one minute. Well, I hope this gives you a little insight. On the recording process and please rip ah. rip what what are they ripping <laughs> you try this 
Oh, I'm, just, I'm tired. Okay. All right. I got it. I got it. You don't got it. No, I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs>